I'm sure you guys have sensed it, but there's literally been a shift on this platform on YouTube. It's to the point now where anybody can just get their phone, get a little camera, press record, just talk, not have to edit the video that much, not have to edit like a crazy thumbnail, post it up on YouTube and have the potential for the algorithm to pick it up and for it to go viral, if not just like a little bit viral. And as somebody that's been on this YouTube platform for about two years now consistently, it's never been like this. When I got on YouTube back in 2022, the whole like Alex Ramosi quick editing style was the norm, but now it's like, you don't have to do any of that authenticity is what's more important than like the fast paced editing style. I've just been monetized on YouTube probably for about six months now. So at the end of this video, I'll actually tell you guys how much money that I've made on YouTube this whole run. But before we get to that, I just wanna go over and talk about why I feel like it's so easy now. I think before when it was like that super like quick, fast paced editing style on YouTube, like when that was king, it was because a lot of people, you know, were drawn to that. It was super like high retention thing in the age of things like TikTok, Reels, people kind of wanted and almost needed that like super fast editing just to, you know, hold their attention. But I think people started to realize slowly that the reason why the super fast paced, high retention editing style worked was because it was to cover up that the content itself was not really that good. I'm sure you guys have seen it, that YouTuber that comes on and they're just like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, this and that, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't feel like actual, like real people. They don't feel like actual real human beings. So the fact now that like what is king on YouTube is just pressing record and me talking to you as a human, as like a regular person, although yes, I am looking at a camera, the fact that like that authenticity is what's being pushed right now, it's so cool, it's so different. Even me like talking to you right now, the person that's watching this, I'm sure you can feel like my aura and my energy more than if I was like a super like, oh, happy YouTuber, because those people kind of seem like robots and people know that that's not genuine. It's almost like how sitcoms aren't real, you know? Like people are starting to realize that that wasn't real and people want what's real nowadays. In an age where like BS and I don't know, all these different like news outlets are throwing so many different things at you. People want real more than anything. So it's awesome that YouTube is finally starting to push and promote that. Also for me being on the space for again, about two years, I've never seen YouTube push small creators quite like how they're doing now. Like literally on my home screen, when I open up my laptop, almost all of the recommended videos on my home screen seem like they're from small creators. And I feel like in the past, it was like you already had to have like 100,000 subscribers, all this stuff to get any type of views to your videos. But now I'm seeing channels with less than 1,000 subscribers. Literally, I clicked on this video the other day. It was like some kid, he had like 100 subscribers. And YouTube showed that to me on my algorithm. I'm like, this is crazy. How did it even get to me? So I think the algorithm is getting better, but they're also letting small creators have a chance, which means that this is the perfect time for you to start posting. Again, I've been on YouTube, even though not even posting, but I've been on YouTube for years and years and I've never seen it be like this. So if you follow my channel, you know how much that I push being a creator. 2024, we're moving towards a creator economy and you need to be putting out digital real estate every day. That means posting a TikTok, posting a reel, posting a long form YouTube video. That's just like the way that things are going. And it's kind of like a modern day gold rush. Like if you can kind of be one of the first people that are taking advantage of this new wave, it's literally so simple. You just literally have to take out your camera, take out your phone, record a video. You don't even have to choose a thumbnail. You can choose the thumbnail that YouTube chooses for you, post it up. And as long as you're talking about things that you're genuinely interested in, YouTube will help you find your audience. I think that we're finally getting back to what YouTube was originally meant for. It wasn't meant for all these like huge creators to, you know, go famous or be viral. YouTube was literally meant just as a broadcasting platform. It used to be YouTube, broadcast yourself. You'd post things up that you'd want your friends or your families to see, or just things that you were actually naturally interested in. And you would draw people to you and to your channel that had similar interests as you. So. I would say I would really, really, really recommend that you guys go and start a channel, not even to make money or try to be famous or go viral, but just for the aspect that you can find like-minded people like you. And also I've talked about it in a previous video, but being able to have a video blog of your life, I've been posting videos almost every day for two years. I can go back over those videos and see how I've changed physically, 
mentally, even like for myself, I can see how I've changed like emotionally and spiritually. And it's so cool. Like if you actually, you know, go throughout life with YouTube, you just see like how your life changes through the years. And it's going to be a beautiful thing to look back on one day. I can show my kids or grandchildren even in the future. So comment down below if you've been thinking about starting a channel or if you have a small channel, comment down below because we can all connect. If you have a channel of any size. I just want to connect everybody in the comments down below. We can help like support and push each other forward. If you guys did like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell because I do post videos like this every single day. And if this video resonated with you, check out this video over here about why starting a YouTube channel is a brilliant idea, even if nobody watches it. I love you guys and I'll speak to you really soon. I'll see you tomorrow.